Hey, serverless fans, Apex up users. A um, couple of interesting developments today. Let me quickly show you. So I'm a big fan. Actually, this camera is a little bit too high. So I'm um, a big fan of isolating resources by account. And today I have achieved something I've been working on. When I update this Lambda function, this Apex up Lambda function, so it's got an API gateway attached, it's actually deploying to three um, accounts at the same time. And this is all now pretty, much, pretty possible thanks to a couple of changes, namely the DNS zone. So basically, um, if I look at my source here, I specify the zone that I'm deploying to. Um, and the way that my accounts work is that I have a production account, but I delegate stage dot example.com so in this case dev devunity.com is managed in the dev account demo.unity.com is managed in the demo account so this allows me to deploy apex up functions with custom domain names in a snap it's brilliant um, the next um, thing which was interesting that snuck into this 0.64 release is now you have the ability to specify IAM permissions in the role, which I think is pretty handy. So here my Lambda function needs to get access to the um, parameter store. So now I just drop in this policy and it's, it's all self-contained and, and it does the trick. Um, there is a bit of a caveat there. If you had one of these before, it will actually overwrite. So, uh, but never mind that, teething pains. So yeah, two, two cool Apex up developments that enable me to deploy Apex, uh, to, to, to enable me to deploy serverless into multiple accounts. I mean, isn't that insane? I love it. I love it. It, it allows me to bring up um, services um, in different environments, isolated. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. Okay, enough of that. Please like the video. See you guys. Bye. Oh my God.